the, the symmetry of metronomic evenness is totally boring. Mm -hmm. If you think of great art, if you think of the Michelangelo's and the Sistine Chapel, those arms of, of uh, Moses, it is Moses that's touching the finger of God, is it not? Yeah. yeah. Nobody's built like that. It's Adam. Yeah. I mean, somebody's Adam, Adam. That's right. Thank you, Sam. He's older. Yeah, he's older. <laughs> he, Adam has, yeah, has arms like, like Steinway piano legs, you know? Nobody, nobody is built like that, but he looks like that. You look at El Greco's or you look at Giacometti, you know, nobody is built like that, but people look like that. In other words, anything, if you call anything other than metronomic in timeness, if you call that distortion, and that's a pretty powerful word, but if you call that distortion, then you get a very clear idea of what we do in art. Of course we distort. That's what makes it different from photography. You take Picasso, you take any of these great artists, that's all. You know, people don't have three eyes in their forehead. It's all distortion. But within a context, as Pam says, somewhere, it doesn't have to be the smallest common denominator of eighths or triplet eighths. It can be quarters. It can be half bars. It can even be bars that fall absolutely precisely where they should, which gives you enormous freedom to mold, to stretch, to compress within the bar and still have this sense of inevitability, of inexorability. 